Hey, it's Christian with Draw Trainer here. I've got one here that's going to help some of the vinyl cutters out there. And maybe if you do some of the stuff like I do, where all of this is going to be parts that are getting cut on steel with a laser cutter, and then they're uh, shipped out to a client, but it's thousands and thousands of parts. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do node reduction because what we've done is we've got a bitmap you can see in the background here and we're just tracing over that. Now this is a client supplied bitmap. Um, they send me the drawings of their parts and then I take their parts and simply trace them and then uh, convert it to a vector object and, and save it to a, a file that can be used by a laser cutter. Uh, so this is an industri industrial job, industrial laser cutting. It's thousands and thousands of parts. So we want to make sure that this laser doesn't have to go Zoop, zoop, zoop. You know, every time there's a node, it's got to stop and figure out what direction to change. And yeah, computers are smart and they process very quickly, but the faster uh, we can make it work, the cheaper it is. And so that's our goal is to have the most streamlined uh, production that we can have. And so we're going to reduce the amount of stops that that laser has to make um, by reducing the nodes. Okay, because within each one of these nodes, there's information pertaining to the adjacent node, whether it's a straight line, whether it's curved, and then you know they're they're actually overlapping because you got information about this one and information about this one, overlapping, and that uh, you know all that has to be processed through the software before the laser knows where to go, and so it does make an effect uh, on the speed when you're doing lots and lots of parts, and maybe for your vinyl plotting, you just want a nice good clean cut in. Uh, and if you're doing production level stuff, where you're cutting out the same decals over and over and over again, maybe it's a, a flower like this or something like that, um, you want something nice and clean. So this is how we do it. All right, we've got our object selected. I'm going to double click it, which will send me into my shape tool. Okay, or you can push F10. And once I just draw my box around my object, and it's going to show you. Oh, I'm sorry, I've, I've already done this one. Let me undo here. Okay. It's going to show you that our uh, curve here has 31 nodes in it. And so we want to reduce that. And we're able to do that in two ways. One, you can just simply click this button with all of this selected. Um, now, the other thing, too, is you can just select a certain area and just reduce the nodes within that certain area. So you can do that piece by piece. Uh, but what we want to do is, this one's simple enough of an object, we're going to do the whole thing. So I'm going to click Reduce Nodes, and it reduced it down to 31 nodes. So no big deal, hardly worth the effort. Um, you know. But what we really want to do is we want to make an impact by taking this slider. Um, if you click that, it basically keeps it true so that there's no changes here at all. Like It's, it's exactly like it was. So it just really only got rid of the totally wasteful extra nodes and there were just two of those. Um, so, if we click on this slider, you just left click here and hold in, and then you just come down here and slide to the right. Now you can go as far as you want to all the way over, and it's going to reduce it way down, but if you look at the page, you see that blue line uh, where my original red line was, and then you see the blue line. And that's showing you the future of, yeah, you're looking into the future, what it's going to look like if you do that. So it's just a preview. Um, so as I come back, I'm starting to look more and more like my original object, right? 19, I eh, still got some my blue lines off of my red line quite a bit still. So really what I want to try to do is come back as close as I can. Uh, I want to reduce it as much as I can, but I want to stay as close as I can to this design. Now it's an organic uh, part. This is a part for a flower that gets cut out of sheet metal thousands of times. And so as long as they're all the same, it's okay. This is the original setup of the file. So I'm happy with 11. My blue line's off a little bit in the bottom right and maybe a little bit in the in the left center bottom kind of area there. Uh, maybe a little couple other little spots, but it's pretty doggone close. My client's going to be perfectly happy with this because this is just a hand-drawn part. Uh, the thing that is of importance is that my drill size, that eighth inch drill hole in the middle, stays an eighth inch. So as long as that's good, uh, everything else has a little bit of leeway. So I'm going to stop at 11. I'm going to say OK. And you can see down here, it's reduced it all the way down to 17 nodes. Now that makes an impact when you're doing thousands of parts. So I hope that helps you and it helps you get your files good and cleaned up. It'll save you a little uh, storage, make your file size 
nice and small, uh, you know, the less information, the smaller the file. I understand it's vector and they're pretty small anyway, but they start to add up. So I hope that is helpful for you in some way and uh, helps you get a little cleaner file and a little cleaner cut.